All right. So we talked about how to run our command now. It's uh, linked to our button. We click on it, and then either it's going to happen, or if it errors, it's going to give us a pop-up to tell us this error. But I also want to um, make a pop-up if it did work. And so I'm just copying this line, this whole toast line. And I don't know why they call the pop-up a toast. I guess maybe because like a toaster pops up. Um, but, uh, but essentially, what we're doing is we're making a, uh, a pop-up that's going to say it run or ran the command. And you could edit that to say whatever you want it to say. But uh, essentially, this toast is going to make text. Um, it's going to um, get this base context. It just has to do with the application itself. The text that it's going to show is this ran the command. And then, uh, then this is going to be how long it's going to show up. And then this is going to make it actually happen. So what's interesting, though, is uh, this... Um, this will happen either way. It'll say, ran the command, and then if it errored, then it will immediately pop up again and say this error. So maybe better than ran the command is tried to, or um, maybe sent the command would be a better thing to say. And then if you don't get an error, then you know the command was actually sent. And it's kind of useful because then it actually shows that something happened uh, and uh, and hopefully will be helpful. So we've got this very basic app that we've built. We um, essentially just have it so we have our one button. We click on that button and it's going to send this super user command to um, change all of our files on our SD card to be read only which is probably a really bad idea but you know this is this is just for an example and then we can um, send uh, we do a little toast pop up to say hey we sent the command and if it failed it'll give us the error that uh, happened from that and once again you can get all of this from my real control app and uh, just you know copy and paste it from there which is really, really handy, and that is available online at my GitLab. If you uh, want to use that as a template for making something like this, uh, really, really easy, straightforward to go through. Or you can just pause the video and write down these few lines of code right here. But either way, uh, our app essentially uh, is done.